Hey Libra, so I'm doing a separation read for you guys, kicking off the 2023 love stories. So you guys, um, you're going to know this is your read by your energy and how you feel about this person. So if that does not resonate, you guys check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome you guys. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy um, just as well. There is some links in the description for my twin flame journey that I wrote. And it's more about healing, coming into the magic side of things, the spirituality side of things, the shadow work, dark night of the soul and all that good stuff. So it's not a focused love story, but uh, definitely the clues and all that good stuff. All right, so starting with your energy. Um, you got the moon card showing up right here. You got your uh, king of wands. And you got your Queen of Swords coming through. So your energy, um, this is a, yeah, so the Queen of Swords showing up in reverse. Um, I mean, I, I turned it in the upright because I really don't feel like there's a lot of negative energy here, okay? It could be that you're kind of surrounding yourself, um, just trying to get out of your head, especially when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, your connection. Um, the Queen of Swords can be somebody who, um, that's a lot of influence, but it could be too that you're actually the influencer of people around you. So the King of, of Wands has, the, the Wands energy carry... Uh, a lot of eyes on them. They have a lot of attention and it could actually be, I mean, I don't know why I'm reading it this way, that you're actually the influence on those around you. Okay. Uh, queen of um, swords is Libra. Um, so, um, and you got your high priestess card over here too. This is just like magic. It's like making stuff happen. You know, the high priestess is divine feminine energy to the max and coupled with that moon card, man, that's powerful. That's magic. It's a, it's journeying. Um, I just feel like what you guys are doing is you could be influencing the, your, your social media following, um, the world, however it is. I just feel like you are, you're grabbing attention and I feel like you're actually the influencer. Um, and I feel like that's how I'm perceiving that, uh, queen of swords. You're the influencer of those around you. So I feel like what you're doing is you're just kind of trusting in the universe when it comes to your situation and putting yourself out there in such a way that you're really uh, living um, authentically. Okay. <clears throat> so um, how you're feeling about this person on your mind space? How do you feel about this person? Page of swords. Maybe they're all talk and no action. So you've decided just to pull your energy away, right? You're coming through with that divine feminine energy. If you can't measure up, hey, I'll see you later, right? You got the eight of swords. So um, I do feel like you're you're looking at this person um, potentially like they have a lot going on, stuck in their head. Uh, maybe they got some, um, you know, energies that are some like really just not, not for the best benefit, right? So they could be choosing uh, substances, people, places, and things over you. That's how you've seen it. Third party situations doesn't have to be romantic, uh, but you see this person as a wounded warrior. And um, honestly, you guys could be just such an, sitting in your power right now that I'm not going to say it's a turn off and that you don't have love for this person, but it's like, oh, if you're going to just simply exhibit behaviors that are not in alignment with me, I am going to pull my energy back. Okay. It doesn't mean that you're not pulling it back with love though. You know, um, I just feel like you're looking at this person like, yeah, uh, I'm just going to keep doing me, you know? Um, and I don't feel like this is like a negative feelings and emotions, but I feel like you're kind of looking at them with pity, um, yeah, a little bit, you know? Um, and it's not that you're going to uh, walk around and feel sorry for this person, but it's like, you got too much going on and, uh, maybe I don't want to be a part of that right now. Right. Let's see who we're talking about. What is their energy? What is their energy? What do we have for Libra? All right, so with the Queen of uh, Coins coming through, um, she represents Capricorn Sagittarius. Um, so their energy, they're coming through, like they, they, they can't stop thinking about you. The Seven of Wands, that tells me that they cannot stop thinking about you. And when it comes to the unhealthy um, habits and lifestyles, I feel like they are actually trying to stave those negative energies away. I feel like they're trying to find balance in life because the Queen of Coins can balance life, work, uh, uh, the, the, the spiritual journey, the social aspects, I feel like, um, you know, that queen of coins got it going on. So I feel like, you know, this person is kind of recognizing that they got to stay away from those um, subpar energies. Um, and I do feel like that's also, you know, in, in lieu of everything that's going on, I feel like they have not stopped thinking about you. You got your six of cups coming through right here. This is, um, you know, saying, Hey, uh, you know, I, I miss, I, I miss my Libra. You could be dealing with again, Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, you got Leo and Scorpio coming through with the five and six of cups, but their energy, um, there it's like, I, they, I feel like, um, you know, there's a transition going on with your connection Libra. And I feel like it's this person and they're recognizing what they're about to lose. Right. So let's just see what it is they've shown you. 
what have they shown you? Ten of Cups, happiness, joy. I could see a life with you. One of these days, man. One of these days, right, baby? Of the Two of Coins, though, they also go back and forth. They're not. Uh, they're like half a uh, half foot in and a half foot out, right? So um, the Two of Cups, I feel like they do recognize the soulmate dynamic, but because it's coming in reverse, it's like they're they give you a little bit, but it's never. It's it's not it's not it doesn't satiate you, right? I don't mean that you need all this person's energy, but it's like they say, 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 but the two of the two of coins is that they're doing other things that are not in alignment with what they say. Um, I feel like you've experienced more joy, happiness and, and love with this person. Um, but I also feel like you've seen the other side of that, too, with this person missed opportunities. Look, they, they, they start to come in very, very partially and then they pull their energy back. So what is this game we're playing? Right. So let's just see what's hidden what you don't see with this person the five of wands okay so i'm going to tell you this you guys um the five of wands where it comes in reverse that just says where this person has been involved in drama negative energy negative uh you know repetitive um situations um judgment card is saying that they're actually going through a transition right now so i do feel like there is change going on in this person's life if they've shown any distortion in masculine or feminine views, um, I feel like what your spirit guides are telling you is this person's actually going through a healing phase, which is good because you don't want somebody to bring that negative um, five of wands stringing along emotionally imbalanced, emotionally um, manipulative, emotional immaturity, you know, um, just somebody who's being very, very unrealistic about I do want this with you, but this, that and the other, you know. Um, I feel like what's happening here is actually a big change um, that, that, that this person's spirit guides and angels are saying, hey, person of Libras, you're you're not being your best self when we can see that. So I, I feel like they're kind of getting nudged by the universe to start changing and growing so they can become the best version of themselves, which is what you guys want, right? So um, if you're looking for a confirmation that there is something going on in this person's life where changes are being made, um, I feel like there's a big clue right there. So how are they feeling about you? Four of Wands, so they're probably starting to see all those positive angel numbers, right? You got your Four of Coins holding space, realizing maybe that they've been selfish in the past. Um, you got Union, you know, you got your 1111 card coming through there. That Four of Wands is an indication of um, marriage, harmony, support coming together. Um, and I'm not saying that you're going to come together in the next 60 days and get married, but I do feel like in the long the long-term um, scheme of things, I feel like this person has had a glimpse into the future and I feel like they can see that with you. Um, you know, if they've just been all over the place and out of their head and, and out of this connection for some time, I feel like um, the burden of, of your guys' disconnection is starting to weigh on them very, very heavily. So let's just check the next 30 to 60 days. Are they coming back in the next 30 to 60 days? Are they coming back? Oh, so what? We got that high priestess card that showed up earlier coming through with her counterpart. Look at that. Wow. As I say it, boom. Uh, you guys, this is a very, very deep connection. Am I right? So you got your, your teamwork makes the dream work right there. So maybe uh, your energy, you know, you had to go elevate yourself while this person catches up. Okay. But this is a divine, this is divine counterparts right here. Um, unbelievable. I didn't even turn that over and, and I'm speaking her name, right? You got your queen of cups coming through. So yeah, they are going to be coming through. This is your victory. I feel like if you guys have been manifesting it, but you're at a place now where, um, you you really don't care. And it's not that you don't care about this person, but you're not caring about the outcome. Um, it's proven, it's proving to be in your favor. Okay. Um, I just, I got to do that because I just feel like that's really important, you know, for you guys, you got your high priestess, your magician card coming through. Um, so let's see, what is their intentions? Let's see how they'll be. I know that they're coming back through with self-love, self-care, um, nurture, compassion, right? Um, so they're coming back through a more, a more healed version of themselves. And don't think this person's not recognizing what this connection means. Okay. Here's your messenger card, the Knight of uh, Swords. He takes action. He want, he want Whenever he sees something, he's going to go after it. He's going to get it. Maybe this person didn't do that the first time around, but I feel like they they know um, they know what they could have potentially lost, okay? With this strength card coming through, I mean, I'm not going to tell you guys to wait, but, you know, they're definitely coming back through to balance that, that, that situation that they've um, experienced with you. They want to come back and experience because the loss is going to be too great comparable to... Um, 
<laughs> they're going to suffer. Okay, so let's just see what the long-term potential is for you guys. The long-term potential. Once this manifests it back together, you guys are being told not to give up. Okay, I just seen the Wheel of Fortune pop through here. Wow, tens. You guys are coming through with all ten, to ten, ten. So that might be something that you guys are actually seeing a lot of. Okay, um, the long-term potential. You know, as long as you guys don't give up um, and you guys leave the past in the past, and there's a determination to make this work for the future. Um, I feel like it's going to be very, very rewarding. You got your nine of cups coming through right there with the wish fulfillment. Um, you know, but it might take some time for it to get there. You guys, um, I feel like this person is coming back with love and patience, but just know that there's going to be cords and strings of the past that it has the it has to completely dissipate right in order for it to work greatly and in order for you guys to carry this connection and work it well um definitely you're being told to leave the past in the past especially if there was um not a lot of harm done to your connection maybe somebody was just being really flaky and uh you couldn't rely or depend on their energy right so anyways initials coming through for y'all so you got B, T, V, W, X, and then we got D. All right, Libra, what a beautiful read, you guys. I'm going to say give this person a chance, man. You guys sending you love. Take care.